Hey everyone, today I'm here to talk about some uh, beginner must-haves for makeup, something to start your collection and build off of it, or things that I think are a great way to start your collection. And um, you don't have to have all these things, but these are like some kind of um, com some kind of standard stuff that you should have in your collection to start it off, or you know, just some ideas that I have. Um, so first, I'm gonna start with like concealer type products. Um, first, I have use this one you want to start off with some kind of concealer palette like this this is the hard candy nobody's perfect palette and this has um, a little brush which helps and three flesh tone colors and a green a yellow and a pink to uh, hide like red spots under eye circles it's color correcting tones so something like this which is at the uh, at Walmart for like seven dollars um, is a great way to start off your collection because you have all these colors you don't have to buy a certain one for your under eye and a certain one for your um, face and stuff like that to cover redness so this is a great beginner um, also if you're not looking to spend seven dollars uh, there's a mini has four shades it has two um, color um, sorry two skin tone colors and a green and a pink which is the first one I started out with um I definitely like the hard candy better it just gives you a wider selection and um, I like that one better but this one's only a three dollars from the elf studio line on uh, eyeslipsface.com also this is what I started off with as an eye primer and under eye concealer you can use this as an eyeshadow primer or under eye concealer it's the Alme bright eyes eye base and concealer and it just looks like that. It has like a little brush tip applicator. This is great. Found at drugstore. It's great to start your collection if you don't want to use um, a separate item for an eye primer and a concealer. You can use that all in one. Um, also, for face, you need some kind of um, mattifying powder to reduce shine. If you have a lot of acne, you can apply the concealer. If you want to use foundation, you can. But I think as a starter kit, powder is a must to get rid of any shine or if you have like hardly any anything on your face that you need to cover just use powder and it works concealer and powder this is the Maybelline dream matte uh, powder and um, this is also at drugstores I love cream blushes they're so easy to use and um, they're this one's inexpensive so I would suggest a cream blush if you even want to use blush I don't use blush all the time this is the Maybelline dream mousse blush in rose petal and um, this is a great cream blush it's very uh, moussey and feels very light lightweight so if you want a blush you can get that one uh, move on moving on to lips uh, these are really inexpensive lip glosses there's so many lip glosses out there that you can get I like the elf 2-in-1 conditioning gloss it has a um, color tube there's two different tubes a color tube in the middle and a clear gloss on the outside that one's only around three dollars and these little candy shop tins from elf are only a dollar and there's a lot of product in there so those are great for lip glosses um if you want to start wearing lipstick um you can do that but i think for a beginner you should just stick with lip gloss eyeshadows now these are around 25 dollars but i definitely recommend these for beginners it'll be a great way to start your collection this is how i started my collection are the costa scents 88 palette um, this one is the warm palette. This one I definitely recommend for beginners because it has all neutral colors and everyday wear colors. I also have the Aviate Shimmer palette which is very frosty and very wow, wow colors that you know you could use for fun looks. And also the, color, the 88 Coastal Scents um, just regular color palette. That doesn't have the shimmery. I mean, some of them are shimmery, but these are only about twenty dollars, twenty-five dollars on CoastalSense.com, and these are great beginner kits because it has every color you could possibly want in these palettes right here. So, not saying you have to get those palettes or any of these products I'm listing. I'm just saying these are my ideas of great products to try. Um, also, a great thing is an eyeshadow primer. There's a lot of eyeshadow primers out there, but they're usually like seventeen, eighteen dollars. They're kind of expensive. Um, but I like the e.l.f. eyeshadow, mineral eyeshadow primer, and um, it's only 
I believe, $3 on their um, mineral lines. So they're always having great deals, too. So you try this out. It's only $3 for a good size. This is my new one. I have one open already, but I have a backup. And this is what it looks like. It's a good size amount of product. It looks like a lip gloss thing. So you want an eyeshadow uh, primer to uh, make sure your eyeshadow is bright and stays on all day. So I definitely recommend getting an eyeshadow primer. If not, you can always use like the Almay Concealer Bright Eyes. It doubles as a concealer and a primer. You also need some type of mascara. I recommend the Lash Blast Length Mascara. It definitely gives you length without looking clumpy, fake looking. It doesn't look, it looks natural. It looks great. So CoverGirl Lash Blast Length. Also grab you an eyelash curler while you're at it. It's a great beginner tool. It will help your eyelashes look a lot longer without having to apply false lashes. And the Maybelline Define Align um, eyeliner or any type of uh, eyeliner that's safe for your waterline because I find myself, if I don't feel like putting on any other makeup, I'll apply this to my waterline all the time to make my eyes kind of stand out, stand out a little bit. So there is my beginner makeup suggestions and way, a way to start out your um, makeup collection. So hope you enjoyed. Bye guys.